Hello, hope you all are doing fantastically well. Going to do uh, a bourbon review or whiskey review today. I've got a couple products I'm going to share with you, both from the same distiller. Um, it's quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, distillers, at least the things that I've had, and we'll get into that here in a moment. Before I forget, very important, I hope you uh, are willing to give me a good old thumbs up if you came here to, to learn a little bit about uh, some bourbon and some whiskey and you enjoy what I'm sharing with you, thumbs up. Appreciate it. And I want to encourage you to subscribe. Of course, I do bourbon and whiskey tastings from time to time, but also do some videos on mindset, t mindset tips, travel vans, um, um, going to Edisto. We have a beautiful home there. Love for you to check it out and, and go stay there. We also have a wonderful place up in Saga Tech, Michigan. So check that out. But anyway, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy days and your lives to spend a few moments to dive in. So the let's, let's get right into it. So I got two I want to want to dive into today. And they're both from the Old Elk Distillery. So this one is a single barrel straight rye whiskey. And this was a um, single barrel uh, pick for Big Red Liquors. So where I live, I live in the Martinsville, Indiana area. There are a few different Big Red locations, but there's one in particular that's on Morton Avenue, if you're in the area at all, that uh, generally has some good uh, single barrel and store picks there. I know um, some of those can be hit and miss, but, um, but anyway, I um, first discovered Old Elk uh, probably a little over a year or so ago. A good friend of mine, Larry, had some, and I had seen the bottle, and I'd watched reviews, and I'd heard about it, and I, but I never had it, and it gave me a, a snort of it, and it was lovely. So I'm like, all right, let's, uh, let's get some of those. And I've had the weeded bourbon from Old Elk. I've had a couple, and so far, none of them are disappointed. So let's first dive in again to this single barrel straight rye whiskey. And you might notice my location is a little different today. It's just too nice outside to be doing this inside. So I uh, might have a leaf or two fly by or hear the wind. So bear with me. Hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get through this. I'm sure we will. But um, don't know that much about the mash bill. Again, it's a rye. So that tells me it's at least 51%. I didn't do a lot of research. I should have remembered. But price on this, I don't think it was crazy. Um, I, don't, I don't think it was crazy. But... Let's dive into that one. So um, I've been watching uh, quite a bit of, of um, others who sample and taste bourbons and give reviews and thoughts. And there's a technique that, that I've played around with a little bit, kind of rolling it around your glass for a little bit, leaving it in your glass for, for a while. These pours are relatively fresh, um, but giving it some time to breathe because it, it seems like when I do that, it does open up the nose a lot. And, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm sure I've talked to you all or shared with you all how to drink bourbon. It, it, it's a personal, personal preference. Don't let anyone tell you that putting ice or water in it is a bad thing. Hell, if you've, even if you put soda in it, that's cool too. It's Drink it to your taste. Uh, I typically prefer it neat, which neat means without ice or cut in any way. But sometimes it's almost every time when you cut it with a little bit of water, maybe a few drops or add an ice cube, it changes the profile uh, quite a bit sometimes, but we're going to drink these neat today. So the nose on this is um, it's very sweet. I would say brown sugary, some good baking spices. And the thing that's interesting to me, at least about this brand, I mean, a, a lot of um, bourbon purists would say, oh, the best stuff is made in Kentucky. And yeah, a lot of really good bourbon comes from Kentucky, no surprise. This is a, a Fort Collins, Colorado um, uh, choice here. And I believe I'm going to read the label to confirm this for certain. But it does say distilled by Old Elk Distillery, Fort uh, Collins, Kentucky. So this is a Kentucky juice here right right now. So I've had a couple other Kentucky, or I'm sorry, Colorado, not Kentucky, Colorado juice. I've had a couple other offerings, not from Old Elk, but from other distillers. Colorado, and they were like, eh. So some people, you know, kind of poo-poo the idea of bourbon being made in Colorado. But I'm telling you, this is worth it. So let's go back to the notes again. Brown sugary, some baking spices. 
Mm, there is a little bit of an ethanol note, but let's give it a taste. And again, this is a barrel pick. So the proof on this is um, 113.5. Uh, and it is a single barrel. So ostensibly that means this all came from a single barrel. Each barrel I find, uh, I, I can have a single barrel of, of one thing from one place and then get a different single barrel from a different place. And sometimes the flavors are going to be a little bit different. So I like the single barrels. I like the higher proof stuff. Some people, you know, that's hit or miss. So drink, find what you enjoy and, and, and get your preference there. So Anyway, let's give it a give it a taste. I think what I that first sip is good. I'll give it another one. What I enjoy about this one is um, it's got it's got spice. It's rye, right? And typically ryes are going to have a little bit more, to me, spice, a little bit more heat. And it's there. Plus it's high proof, 113.5. Um, I get a lot of tobacco and almost leathery uh, notes on the taste. Um, frankly, I am I wish I it was later in the day and it was a campfire outside and I had a cigar because a cigar with this would pair wonderfully well. Um the sweet notes are they're there but they fade pretty quick and and i'm not mad about that i i, I like the, the it's like a uh, the, again that leathery tobacco taste it's it's i know it sounds weird but i love the smell of a baseball glove and it just it's nostalgic for me i think so to me the taste in this reminds me of what a baseball glove smells like so maybe that's a turn off for you but for me that's fantastic so it's a good drink. And again, that's the Old Elk Single Barrel Straight Rye Whiskey Store Pick. All right, let's move on to the next one. And this next one is one that I've heard about for a while now, uh, but I never, I never saw it on the wild. And I haven't been hunting it per se. Um, I do look for it if I'm out and about. And if, if I see Old Elk on the shelf... I'm going to see if they have this one. And, and the one I'm speaking of, let's just get right to it. This is the Old Elk Cigar Cut. And this is straight whiskeys finished in port, Satranes, sherry, and rum barrels. I might have mispronounced that word, but this one has a lot of good information on the label too, if I can get that in the camera view. So I'll, I'll just cover it for you real quickly. It says this is the second release of Old Elk Cigar Cut. Um, the base whiskey is Old Elk High Malt Bourbon. And it was in a sh uh, sherry cask for two years and then a port cask for six to ten months. And then it also has Old Elk Six Year Rye. And it was in a rum cask for eight months. And then it also has Old Elk Six Year Wheat which is by itself really good. And that was in a Sauternes, Sauternes, S-A-U-T-E-R-N-E-S, uh, cast for six months. Um, again, I've heard a ton about this. And I just, I found this today at a honey hole. They don't have a lot left, but if you're in the area, Paragon Liquor Store has, uh, I think they at least had a couple more from what I saw today. So let's give this one a nose, and a little bit of a taste as well. Mm. that is like butterscotch like a butterscotch candy like those cheap uh yellow ones that are in the the plastic cellophane wrapper i know that i'm not selling it well but it's got that taste there smell to it i've said this is a predominant and a little bit of brown sugar on this too i'm going to compare it to the other one oh and a trick i learned recently is when you're sniffing things or if you want to clear your nose, you kind of put your nose in your in your elbow. I mean, granted, I've got a sweatshirt on, so maybe not a good idea. The other tip I heard is smell the back of your hand, and it kind of clears your your smell or your sniffer out a little bit. So that was the the rye. This is back to the cigar cut. 
Yeah, I would say the noses are not similar. This is more butterscotchy, um, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, definitely a little bit of brown sugar. But let's give it a taste. <clears throat> That's good. It's complex. There's a lot of different things. Let's go in again. There's a little bit of butterscotch. I would say, do you remember as a kid, or at least I remember as a kid, there were these little boxes, and I think they were called Red Hots. They were like these little tiny cinnamon candies. And I remember just putting a handful of those in my mouth and chopping them up and remember feeling spicy and hot. And of course, cinnamony. There's a lot of that going on there. Um, I guess with the name Cigar Cat, I'm, I'm kind of anticipating or... or Suspecting there would be, you know, a nice cigar, tobacco -y type note. I think it's there, but it's more on the tail end, toward the end, as I kind of let it sit there. The flavor, um, the mouth feels great. Um, nice, viscous, you know, kind of coats the mouth really well. And the flavor kind of changes uh, throughout the drink. So it's a little bit different on the front. On the front, it's definitely hot, like those red hots. And mid to late palate. It really mellows out a whole bunch, and you start to get subtle, not quite as strong as, as the, the other Old Elf that I, I sampled a few moments ago, but there is subtle tobacco notes on that. And, you know, again, it's just, it's one of those where I wish it were evening and I had a campfire and a, and a cigar because that would be a fantastic thing to add to it. Um, I forgot to share with you what the proof on this is, so let me get that, but this is 111.7 proof, um, but fantastic drink. So what do you think? Have you had either of these old elks? Have you had a different old elk? I'd love to hear about it. I'm really digging this product line from, from that distiller. So anyway, thank you all. And uh, I'll talk to you all real soon.